tuned into the Guest List Network and I'm Mira Sharma and today we have with us a very special guest. His voice blew us away on the BBC's The Voice. Yep, that's right, I'm with Vince Kidd. So how's life been after The Voice? Um, busy, very busy. Um, I signed to Island Records and I've been working on my album, finishing my album. Can you tell us a bit more about your tour with, like, working with Cheryl Cole, going on tour with her? Yeah. Well, no, I, since, since The Voice, I did, first of all, I went straight on my own tour. And then recently, I just did my other headline tour, mm -hmm. which was sold out yeah. and fantastic. Yeah. Loved it. And then I was doing a few guest spots. So I performed, yeah, with uh, Cheryl Cole, supporting Cheryl Cole. Yeah. Um, performed at Azealia Banks' Mermaid Ball. And I, I love it. I like to do support slots. It's a different atmosphere to when you're doing your own show. Because mm -hmm. you really got to work to get the crowd into you because they're obviously not there to see you. But, um... Yeah, Cheryl Cole's fans are pretty nuts, so it was it was fun, and it, that was like my first, you know, big arena, so that was crazy. Okay, so did Cheryl Cole give you any tips or Azealia Banks or anyone on? Um, or? Not really, no. Um, the one thing that I got, from, I met Cheryl, she was lovely, but the, um, her stage manager was like to me, "You're not allowed to walk down the catwalk. Oh, That's okay. just for Cheryl." So the first thing I did was walk down the catwalk as soon as I started my song, and they. They, they fucking cut the lights on me, like, fully, just poof. So I had to walk back onto the oh, stage. Really? Oh, so they didn't want you to walk on there, then? No, oh. it was like, it was all sods, trying to get away with it. I was, but, yeah, I tried a thing, for sure. I know, I love that. So, um, obviously, you were on The Voice and everything. How did you find working with Jessie J? That was my favourite part of being on the show. I loved working with her. She's, she's sick, isn't she? Yeah. <laughs> like... She's the shit, like, she's so good and she's fun, yeah. She's that big sister, so we had a lot of fun. Okay, so do you still keep in contact with her? I do, yeah. She's in America at the moment, so I haven't seen her for a while. Last time I saw her was when she played the iTunes Festival, I went to watch that, and that was great. She was really sexing it up. She was, like, wearing, like, little knickers. I was like, go on, Jesse. Um, yeah, no, we stay in contact here and there, yeah. What made you um, decide to go on The Voice then? Was it just to develop yourself more or...? Was well, yeah, it... like, I was, like, really... I kind of had a bit of a name on the underground yeah. scene. I was playing a lot of the raves and, you know, just, like, little London clubs and... Do you know what I mean? Like, we were in Hackney. I used to play around here all the time, like... And I used to be, actually, my managers and my best friends they just had like a little warehouse literally two minutes away from here and it was like the smallest shittiest little room but we used to write songs there so i was like you know what i want to go further with this i want to get onto bigger stages i want to have my own studio someday you know i want to keep making music and like actually earn some money out of it <laughs> so yeah i just i just realized that what bigger stage was there at the time than the BBC, you know, so I jumped on it. So can you tell us more about, like, Sick Love? Because obviously that's out soon. So, like, how what inspired the song and how did you find working with ladies at the show? Um, I wrote this song last year in a different studio, not the one near here, a studio in Kilburn, which, again, was just as much of a dive, dare I say it. And we kind of... We had to, like, give it a bit of vibe, the studio, so we put lots of pictures of naked girls naked supermodels on the walls. That's what inspired the lyrics, because they're pretty filth. So, um, <laughs> and yeah, the remixes came about, like, I wanted to do, uh, there's a producer that I work with, ELE. I wanted him to do a remix, so we got Benny Banks to jump on that, because I'm a big fan, and Benny's really cool. And I'm a massive fan of Lady Alicia, so I hear her up. She's fucking awesome, fucking awesome to work with. What a superstar. She's so sick live as well, so. That was a great experience then. So obviously Lady Alicia is like into grime and everything. Yeah. Is that something that you find influences you? Or? Well, absolutely. If you, if you listen to this first EP, I'm very much sticking to my UK roots. You know, I'm just, I'm into hip hop, grime, just, I don't know. I'm, in, that's, I'm definitely into that. So that's what I wanted to do with this first EP. Um, you know, I'm, there's a lot of people in the UK scene that I really respect, like, a lot of, I think the females as well, like Lady Leisha and Shiesty I love as well. Um, I like the American girls as well, though, like Azealia Banks, Angel, have you heard Angel Hayes? Yeah. She's incredible. I think we're, me and her are going to work together, we've been speaking about it. Oh, really? Oh, okay. 
She's mad cool. What you've got coming up then, your next, um, like, Sick Love and your, the rest of the singles coming out and stuff like that, yeah. so plug yourself. So obviously, signed to Ireland now, great, great home to be. Um, yeah, Sick Love EP, it's just like a teaser. And then we're going to have the lead single come next year and the album very early next year. So it's exciting times. So yeah, hit me up. Linskid.com.